this pretty upsetting clip. Oh, exactly, that's not as bad. Pretty upsetting clip courtesy of the Shade Room. And this is, again, upsetting, but also something that I'm kind of curious to know what some of you guys think, right? Because there is clearly privilege. It does exist, right? Whether it's white privilege, black privilege, pretty privilege, fat privilege, whatever. We all have a thing that, especially if you work in the entertainment industry or you work in some sort of media role or any industry where the jobs are scarce but the people who are wanting to do them are plentiful um so the opportunities are quite limited you're gonna need something some sort of stick to kind of get yourself in the front door right something to crowbar your way in then once you're in there you can do away with the tokenism and kind of showcase your skills right that's what most people would agree if you're sensible you'd agree that if you're not sensible you're gonna say it's not such thing as black privilege uh, but there is it does exist don't 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 piss me off but if that's the case right um, there is also a pretty privilege, which everyone, which most people don't give a shit about because, you know, if you're pretty, boo-hoo, right? I'm really hot and attractive. Uh, no one really cares. But I think someone like a sweetie has pretty privilege that is somewhat um negatively impacted her career because i think she is obviously clearly drop dead gorgeous right incredibly attractive incredibly easy to look at to the eye has good links to the industry has a very personable you know, with her mum being a, a video vixen like in terms of knowing how to navigate and you know whatever people behind the scenes that you should know so that's and what great it's up because it allows you to go into this industry not being blind she also has a very I think personable personality, right? People like to like her. People want to like her. She seems quite charming and whatnot, similar to how people liked Megan Thee Stallion earlier on. I think she has a similar sort of appeal to whatever people, um, all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's always great. It gives you a chance to have an opportunity to be successful. But when it comes to having an X factor as being a rapper or being a musician, she just doesn't have it in it. And I think whatever reason it is, I know there's been talk of her going to some sort of training, staging school or or going to some sort of boot camp to improve her ability to be an artist but she just doesn't have it and this little clip courtesy of shade room where she was performing on saturday night live of all things i think she was one of the musical guests on there is a clear example of her baby her maybe being in a position that she shouldn't be in mostly based on what she looks like and it being really destructive to her overall ability to be successful in that particular field here's a clip we don't know what she's saying she's out of breath um she's clearly not dancing the greatest the song sounds fucking trash she's still doing the icy icy thing i'm just bored of it but i get it. it's her stick but god damn it man she sounds terrible isn't it like garbaggio garbaggio you know wh wh what does it get it gets thrown in the bin thrown in the bin thrown in the bin what does it get it gets thrown in the bin your cd gets thrown in the bin right just terrible 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 performance and it makes me think about what i said beforehand where i was like oh what happens if you've got a friend who's in the arts or who's in the entertainment industry but it's terrible at it doesn't know has no self-awareness and you can't tell them because you're their friend but then you should tell them because you're their friend to maybe give it up and go do get a job, right? And that's not the case. And I think what I came away with that conclusion was that, um, you know, you only get one life. People should be able to try and do whatever they want to do. And if they want to do it until the end of time, let them do it because there's not many things in this life that can, you know, make you happy or put a smile on your face or make you get out of bed. And if you are, you know, older in or longer in a tooth and you're still trying a career in TV presenting or music in this way or you're just terrible, you're just not good, whatever age you are, you, you know, you should be allowed to do so. Why not? Who should stop you from doing it? But I do think her friends and her collaborators, whatever, owe her a kind of pulling to a side and saying, should you not be doing something else? Isn't there somewhere else we can maybe utilize your beauty and your attractiveness and your appeal to people and the way that you resonate with girls and guys in general and use that to maybe do something else? Because this clearly, I think, is a waste of time, really. It really ultimately waste of time. And um, a clear example, obviously, is in the comments here. You see the first two comments from people that obviously maybe maybe related to maybe industry people or maybe just people being nice because they're blue ticks, saying yes, one saying bay. But then as soon as you scroll past that, the real the real tea kind of gets spilled from the real people who say the following i love sweetie as the next much as the next person but i cannot get down with the music which i agree another one says did she trip over her words a little another one says rapping just isn't for everyone 
with the emoji like shrugging the shoulders another one says beautiful gowns beautiful gowns obviously talking about the outfits less about the performance which you know is always concerning another one says i'ma have to listen to the non-live version because this don't sound good another one says she, is she speaking spanish another one says no another one says she's improved a lot which is clearly not true another one says she's beautiful and all that but what did she say and then last one says she just needs to retire the word icy so clearly other people kind of resonate with the same thing but again i just think she's in a lose-lose position she's attractive so she gets put in a position that she probably doesn't deserve to be in. But then if you're going to be in that position, who's going to turn down the opportunity to be a fucking musician? Who's going to turn down the opportunity to be an artist? Who will turn down the opportunity to perform to a live audience, to have fans, to go on fucking Saturday Night Live, for instance, right? To have Grammy-nominated songs. She's got a Grammy-nominated song, for fuck's sake, right? Who would turn that down? No one would. But I really do think if there was an avenue for people where they wouldn't just because i think maybe someone like an, a, a sweetie doesn't want to be an influencer because maybe it's beneath you i know some people are like that they're like no nah, i'm not an influencer i'm above that so if that's the case if there was a way to like have a group if there was a way to group people or have a classification or a job sector that existed that was an influencer maybe a level above that and maybe a level below being a sort of you know actor artist rapper sort of thing I think she should take it. If that if that category existed, I don't think it does, which is why people get into music because you can leverage that into other things. She's got a deal with McDonald's. She did a deal with McDonald's. I think I saw something about doing some sort of acting role. She did this sort of start Saturday Night Live thing. So that's a good look. Um, maybe presenting, whatever, right? There's loads of avenues you can kind of work from you doing your musical career. So I get the thinking behind it. But God damn it, this is terrible. Like legitimately one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Like just garbage to another level. People are screaming about her twisting and shaking her legs and looking voluptuous and things. It's like, yeah, of course, she looks beautiful, but does the music sound good? Does she sound good performing it? Would you buy a ticket to one of her live shows? Like, I don't think so, man. It'd be a no to all the above. Um, but it's a shame. It's a shame. But, you know, I guess that's the issue also because she doesn't have any talent to back it up. It feels like in music. So it's one thing because, again, I always I firmly believe in the flipping um you know faking it till you're making it right the idea of like maybe fluffing your cv a bit to maybe over exaggerate your experience level but obviously still having experience in the thing so that once you get in there you can show and prove but some people are really delusional where they do a thing where they don't even try and improve they don't even try and get better at the skill that they pretended to have they just go in there and try and wing it or they just lie flat out and don't even attempt to wing it they just go in there and do whatever and i'm not a really big fan of that and i think that's what she's maybe suffering from a little bit instead of going in and using the privilege that she got to maybe explore different sounds or maybe just go to pop route because i don't think she should be rapping at all because she sounds again it could be a jim jones thing jim jones was terrible when he first started rapping right with the with dipsets and the diplomats but some people would argue that jim jones maybe has some of the better albums from those people in that group right especially ex-members right he might have some of the better albums um that have come out in the last few years right um but can you see sweetie being as good as jim jones in the future will she dedicate herself to the craft of rapping is she surrounded by actual killers in terms of mcs like jill santana and you know jr writer and cameron and you know whatever whatever else existed right in that group um no she's obviously not surrounded by people like that so iron doesn't sharpen iron if you're surrounded by you know just regular folk or girls that dance and shit but i don't know man whatever in it i guess thoughts and feelings go out to sweetie but I'm sure she, I'm sure she'll be fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's having sympathy for a girl like that. It's like she'll be fine, bruv. She'll sort it out. She'll get it figured. She'll figure it out, or she won't. Maybe way, she's a big girl. Let me just take a go with water because obviously I'm ill. My mouth feels horrendous. When you're ill, right? And you're drinking water. It feels both like coke, and it also feels like you're drink. You're swallowing a flipping brick. It tells like coke away satisfying, like oh man, this sugar, this I mean it feels good, refreshing, or somewhat like a sparkling water or something, like maybe not a coke. But then it also is really difficult to get down your throat. It's like, oh but hey, what can you do? Um I know some other things that are difficult to get down your throat. <laughs> I started there, so it didn't make it that funny, but you know what I mean. Anyway, moving on. 